Hello, my beautiful spirits. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. Hello, Libra. This is a reading for you for love in the month of December. So let's take a look and see what the overall energy is here for your reading. From spirit messages, ears wide open. Libra, Libra, keep your ears open. You're about to hear something. It's going to be of importance. Oh, the spirit of gratitude. We always love a spirit of, it, of gratitude. So Spirit is saying this is a time to give thanks and wish upon a star, Libra. You have a wish that's going to come true. So we like it. So let's see what the overall energy is in your love relationship reading. This is a general reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do have a 10-minute telephone reading special. In 10 minutes on the telephone, I can cover typically what I would even at a lower price than I would in a video of 20 minutes. So, just an idea if you're interested in a reading. So let's see. I am a five-star rated reader. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. Oh, dear. Friendship, happiness, joy. A lot of love, Cancerian energy. Look at that. It's party energy. It's like the best friends. But it also, when we get the Ace of Pentacles, is a combination that creates a potential engagement. All right. So let's see. The recent energy in the past between you and a beloved person is the Moon card uncertainty not really positive what's going on this moon card's a little bit different though both of you are in this energy of using your third eye chakra both of you know that there's things that are buried in this or underwater in this relationship that you need to speak about your emotions but you see this beautiful moon behind her she does not look confused it's only what needs to be revealed when we look at the energy between you and your person currently, we see the need. The, the two of you are at a crossroads. You need to make a definite decision to move forward. The way your person sees the relationship in the situation is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups energy is, uh, is the energy of some confusion with that moon card. I feel as though your person doesn't know exactly what they're seeking, but there is a portal here. They are trying to find answers. The Seven of Cups can mean keeping their options open, but when you look at this, you see the solitary person really contemplating. So to me, this is almost more like the Hermit card in this particular deck each deck and each author has a different way of interpreting things and I you know it's a very thoughtful card making the wrong choice will definitely cost you with the seven of cups energy so your person feels that they need to make this choice very carefully which is correct how they view you Libra they view you as a six of Pentacles somebody that is always giving to the relationship somebody who's very balanced somebody who's going through a transformation this is a very transformative deck a lot of butterflies but they see you as someone who is devoted they see you as someone of tremendous value they see you in this beautiful light they see you as being very very much a butterfly you know that you're you're in this energy of um lifting and doing a lot of important things in your life right now the six of swords energy in their heart space is a sense that they have to heal some old wounds i don't think those wounds have anything to do with you i feel as though for some of you this is a fairly new relationship that is yet undefined as to the direction it will go in but it does look like it has tremendous potential how they view the situation going forward and here we have it wish upon a star the three of wands going from the two of wands to the three of wands so it looks as though your person wants to give to you as you give to them they want to move out of some sort of past difficulty that had them underwater and i think you're aware of what that story is but the three of wands that is they are making the choice they have chosen you they are going to tell you that in the near future and you know in the spirit of gratitude really for what you've brought to the relationship and their life we see the mutual energy that is hidden Ooh, gemini energy this is gemini and virgo energy the moon card is pisces two of wands aries three of wands aries six of swords aquarius seven of cups is 
um, Scorpio energy. The Six of Pentacles is Taurus energy. So you may be dealing with any of those signs. But the Magician card, that is a card of Gemini and Virgo. Using communication, you have all the tools you need to manifest this relationship. There is a magic here in this relationship that you've not experienced before. There is a magic and uh, a chemistry that is undeniable. Spirit's recommendation and advice. Eight of Wands, move forward rapidly with great passion. Embrace the future. Go quickly. The Eight of Wands is all about a lot of communication. It's making love all night long. It's air travel. It's adventure. It's Sagittarius energy. Take that leap of faith. Get to know your person. It is a very expansive energy that means that you will enjoy a lot of growth and joyfulness from the relationship. In the short term, your outcome is the Queen of Pentacles energy. That is, that's the indication that both of you are going to nurture the relationship, that you find this a very valuable relationship. We see this Queen holding a pentacle close to her chest. We see the Six of Pentacles uh, that represents you, Libra. We see your person choosing you and both of you coming to the, the fore with this incredible energy of uh, love. The Queen of Pentacles is uh, the mommy card, somebody who's very responsible, Capricorn energy, taking the relationship very seriously, moving it to the next level. Wow. Okay. We haven't seen a Libra reading like this in a bit, so I'm very happy about it. It's exciting to see this energy for you. So let's see, Libra. Well, we're going to clarify the cards and see what all of this means. Um, we're just going to clarify the cards that are challenging or mysterious. Okay. So when we look at the energy of the moon card, what do we see here for the moon card? What is it about this relationship in the past that had you both wondering what was going on beneath the surface? The justice card. So Libra, there you are in your reading. I love it. You are both in this energy. You may have both or one of you may have left a marriage or you might be going through a divorce. Justice card can be two different things. It can be the paperwork to divorce or the paperwork to get married. So when we see the moon card, some of you may be wondering, is this my person? And the answer appears to be yes, according to Wishing Upon a Star. For others of you, and it could be both, both of you may be going through a divorce or you may have gone through a divorce and you're looking forward to a new future and being very balanced and feeling a little uncertain. Staying very quiet, very contemplative, very very much in your head in the thought process. Movement of cups, though, very much that Knight of Cups romantic energy, taking that sort of leap of faith out of the water and back in with your emotions. The energy here of the Seven of Cups is clarified by the Heart of Wands. So the Heart of Wands is the, is the energy of the Queen of Wands, Aries energy. So it's all about the passion, all about the joy, but very much the queens are about making choices and your person wants to choose you. We get the energy here also of um, the knight. We get four of swords. Your person could be healing. And we also get the knight of wands. So right now we see your person may not be completely free at this time. Uh, they're in a healing mode, but they are making the choice that you're the one for them. Um, we see them right now giving you a different impression of what's really the case. It's almost as though the Seven of Cups are not presenting a totally clear picture of themselves right now. But, and, you know, they're throwing off the energy of appearing to maybe be a player, but they're not. The Three of Wands indicates they are very much invested. And the Four of Swords says that they're in a healing mode. So there we go. So let's see what the Six of Pentacles is for you. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? I, I, I'm going to go back and do the Two of Wands. What's the crossroads the two of you are at? All right, the crossroads are you want your happily ever after. We have happily ever after as a crossroads. A lot of cards fell out. I'm not going to take those. But it really speaks to the fact that both of you are on the same page. You want a very happy, joyful relationship based on pure love. 
that is Pisces energy and the world card. You want to finish your cycle of dating. Both of you are in this energy of like, you know, I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to commit. I want romance. I want it with a fiery, passionate person. Libra, Libra, beautiful. Six of Pentacles, why is it here? <gasps> Look at that. The Twin Flame card. That is the number 22 in the Naked Heart Tarot. It speaks to the fact that your person feels as though when they look at you that you could be their twin flame, that you're much, you're very magical to them. The Two of Coins says that they're not sure if you feel the same way, but they feel as though you are the one. The star card, hopes and dreams for love coming true. They feel as though you are the rock star of in love for them that that's what you mean. It's also a healing energy. Six of Swords. Your person is healing. We've had three healing cards. Six of Swords, Four of Swords, and Star card. You have helped heal their heart with the pure love that you've given them. That we also get them looking at things from a different perspective. We get the Hermit card. An offer is coming. Three of Cups. They do think you could be the one. That is, this is also hopes and dreams for love coming true. So when we look at wishing upon a star, Libra, 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 this is an outstanding reading for you. This is a reading of great hope and, and possibly even destiny with that twin flame energy. We get the three of cups here, the three of wands. Again, ace of coins right next to the three of cups. Your person feels as though they could be very happy if they ask you to marry them. Absolutely. The Magician card is here. What do we see? The Ace of Cups, what's hidden? The two of you are feeling very magically attracted to each other. The Ace of Cups is new love. We also get the, the uh, very Scorpio King of Cups, Four of Coins holding on to each other, and the Queen of Cups. So that is you, both of you, feeling tremendous love for each other, being very tender-hearted with each other, giving each other a lot of emotional, I think physical affection, more than verbal. I feel like you show each other that you love each other. The Eight of Wands, why is it here? Ten of Swords. So after a period of time of both of you having gone through a very rough breakup in your lives, because Spirit is saying that you're at this Eight of Wands, move forward. But it does show that, be careful, you know, you never disengage your brain. I mean, that's the message we have. Because, you know, people can go sideways in love, and they're, but you need what Spirit is saying for you to move forward very rapidly and happily. You do need to get over. You need to intellectually process and heal from an old wound. You know, again, prick up your ears, you know, be gratitude, uh, show gratitude for what you have. The Queen of Pentacles energy is clarified by the innocence of wands, throwing caution to the winds, Libra, really just in it to win it, giving up any heavy burdens, you know, don't be burdened by this. Let go of the burdens. You both want to be responsible. And in the past, I feel that both of you have given more to a past relationships than you needed to. So what Spirit is saying is throw caution to the winds. Go ahead, give up that burden. Let go of that because the magic is here. You have the intellectual, emotional, and practical ability to manifest this. And we have the magician twice. That's usually great chemistry. So Libra, I'm going to leave it there. It's a stunning reading for you. I'm so happy to have you with me today. I am broadcasting from Chicago. Uh, send a note in the comments below. Tell me what you think of the reading and tell me where you're from. I used to travel internationally and I love to hear where everybody's watching from. Thank you, Libra. Take care. Bye-bye.